Hi, this is LJ Bothell doing a Microsoft PowerPoint video on creating new slides and just doing a few basic text and insert effects. So right now I'm in PowerPoint for Windows. You'll find some of these items in different places on other operating systems. But I've already opened PowerPoint and I'm going to go to my home tab where, excuse me, to my home file tab and create a blank presentation because I didn't have one open. And what opens up is a single slide in the title style format. And I know this because in my home tab, when I look at the slides group, new slide, this is the title slide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add two additional slides just so we have a little subject to play with. So we'll do a title and content slide, and then we'll also add a new slide of a comparison. So in the title slide, this is customarily where you would title whatever your presentation is going to be. So my first PowerPoint. Now, what I did is I clicked into this really helpful, this really helpful placeholder text box that PowerPoint has designed to mimic how a good slideshow might start on a title page with a large title and then the possibility of either a subtitle or putting in a person's name. And it, you, all you need to do is click inside and you can start typing and a style and size will already be established, plain color. All of this is editable and all of this is able to be customized by different themes and colors. But this is how the, the text box placeholders work. If you go into the second slide, you can see there's also two placeholder boxes. This one is clicked to add title as well. It does not mean that it has to be the title of the entire slideshow. It could be the title of the section or of the content of the page. So for instance, uh, this is a uh, title text page, title text page info. So I'm putting in a title for the page. In this box, you can see that you can either click to add text or you have these really neat icons where you could click to add other things into it. So if I were to type to click uh, the text to say, I can type text period and then hit spell it properly, then hit my enter button, I can add images, I can add media clips. Now you notice that when I click away from the box, there are no more little icons in there for me to add items, which is fine because one can still, one, um, you can change the size of these text boxes, and two, you can go to insert, and you can still insert anything you want, and I'm going to do a cat napping, because it's a Saturday, it feels like a sleepy day. Oh, there's a good picture, so I'll just insert this one. The picture may end up really big, um, that's okay, I'm just going to do a real quick, make it resized, and then we'll talk about images and things you could do with them in a second uh, video. But that's how you can go ahead and add an image or an item after you've already used the placeholder text box and typed over the area where the little icons were. Now we're going to go to the third slide so we have a little bit more room to play here. Once again, you could create like a page title or a section title. So I might call this section one. Then in here, this is like a comparison type of layout, although you could use it any way you want. So I'm going to in a click to add text. This is for text. And then over here, this is for inserts. And in that way, I'm going to compare these two things. So clicking to add text, this is line one. This is line two. This is line three. And why am I doing that? Because the lines, as you see when you go into most of your text boxes, 
most of them you'll find have bullets already. The idea of a PowerPoint show is that you're giving high points on a subject, not big paragraphs of text. That's what you would use your word processing for. And if you needed actual spreadsheet information, you would use Excel and then maybe take a screenshot or on a specific PowerPoint slide, import a page from a workbook so people could see that page but you wouldn't actually be putting in tons of text. You normally, for what you type in here, to accompany what you're going to share in a meeting or in an animated uh, slideshow, you're going to be having lines almost as, as high level uh, tips. You know, marketing is a great thing to do. And then a sub point, it's great because people learn about your product. And then another sub point, it's great because it's a great fun job. <laughs> that sort of thing. So what you have in here are lines of text and you can actually um, promote or demote them. So if you use your tab and press tab in, this demotes the line and it changes the, the indentation and the size of the text. And we could do the same thing here. Reason I'm showing this is because in an average slideshow, this could get really small very fast. Now, I'm in 53%. Uh, if I go to 100%, no, not 395. Let's go back to 100. 100%. <laughs> there we go. This is a little more accurate as to what you'll see. But even so, if you have a room of 30 or 40 people and a slideshow at the front, you're going to want to keep an eye on how often you uh, do this kind of demoting of text. Might want to stop at line two, and then you can also use themes and such to make each of these bigger if you decide. So you may want this to be the same size as this, and this is 24 point. So you can come here and you can use your home tab font area to change this to 24 point as well. So it's demoted by where it's indented, but it's no longer demoted in size. I'm going to make this a little smaller zoom-wise so we can see the other side here. Now, the great news over here is with these little icons, these are different things that you can just bring right into this particular text folder. So you could bring a smart art graphic in, you could bring in an image, you could bring in an, a 3D model. I'm not sure what we've got here. Well, this says stock images. Wait a minute, that didn't seem right. What is this? Oh, insert an icon. That must have been up here. Okay. So insert an icon. So I'm going to just grab a pair of sunglasses, insert it, and then you'll get an icon that you can resize and do other things with. So we will look more at those qual uh, qualities that we can work with later on. But back to just working on creating basic slideshows, one of the things that will happen is that when you're ready for your show to be seen, you'll want to view it as a slideshow. So you can go to slideshow. And you can do the slideshow from the beginning. Here we are. It's now in slideshow view. And you can move it forward by pressing your enter button or one of your arrow buttons. We press enter. Now, there are no transitions here. So it's just moving from one page to the next. And if you have to be in a slideshow and you've started it from the beginning and you decide you want to exit it, all you need to do is hit your escape key and that will exit it as well. Finally, on your status bar near your zoom bar, there's a little icon down here for slideshow. And this is really the easiest thing to do is to click down there and you can start a slideshow from anywhere. But anyway, uh, back to the home. New slides also include things like section headers, two content, the comparison, which we tried, a title only, a blank, where you might just want to put a full size image. You could do content with a caption. Uh, you could do a picture with a caption, and uh, you can also make up your own design by using blank and not using placeholders at all. And uh, these are very useful. You can reuse slides. So if I wanted to reuse a slide, I could go and um, look at another PowerPoint file I have and pull something in from there. If I want to duplicate a slide, I can select one right click on it and in this menu I have the option to uh, duplicate the slide I could delete the slide I could reset it reset is really good if I were to do a bunch of formatting myself and then decide to use a theme instead 
I should be able to reset the slide so it will pick up the qualities of the theme instead of the special things I did with the text. And then uh, the next video, we'll take a look at actual play with how text looks formatting wise and some basic inserts. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for